so our supplies, 16 by 20 canvas, I have it horizontal. I have only four colors tonight, blue, yellow, black, and white. We have a cup of water to rinse, paper towels to dry, and we'll use three different brushes tonight. Our usual half inch or three quarter inch flat brush, half inch or three quarter inch flat brush like this. We'll use a medium round brush like this. And then that tinier one for doing our um, lines and details when we get to it. All right. Um, so I do want to sketch it before we get started. So oh, okay. I'll have you guys grab a pencil if you have a pencil. I'm going to show it to you in Sharpie. I do okay, have mine slightly sketched already. <laughs> okay. But um, I'm going to do it in Sharpie so you guys can see it on camera, but I need a Sharpie, so that would help. Oh, oh do I have one over here? Let's Maybe. see. How about this one? It is blue, but it shall work okay. Okay. And I'm going to zoom in for them so they can see. <laughs> okay, here we go. <sighs> All right, before we get started, as always, my, my painting, painting is not going to look, look like my painting, painting and, and your painting, painting is not going to look, look like my painting. painting. <laughs> so don't worry. <laughs> okay. So you guys all have, you guys do this in pencil. Um, if you want to go back over it with Sharpie, you can. Um, no big deal. Either way. Pencil may smudge when you paint over it. Sharpie will not. It will, but it will be usually seen through your paint. So just keep that in mind. All right. All right. So we're going to start with our lamp over here, the glass part of our lamp. So I'm going to come down about maybe three inches, two to three inches over here. And we're going to come in about a, an inch on this side. Whoa. So down three, over maybe three quarters to an inch. This is probably not going to work. This is like dried out. And then we're going to do a horizontal line. We want that line to be about as long as your paintbrush. Yeah, it's very bright. I know. Okay. So we want a horizontal line about as long as your paintbrush. So as straight as you can get that horizontal. That's good, I can see it. Okay. Laura Hall, the Hi, snowman Laura. one is still available. It was posted yesterday, it's right here on the page. Yep. All right, we're gonna do two diagonals from either side. These two are going to come down. If you want to do the horizontal first so that we make these two meet, you can do that first. So again, we're, let's figure this is about maybe the brush handle height, maybe six, seven inches. So brush handle height down. And we want to come across maybe four inches, five inches. It just has to be shorter than this line up here. Okay. Okay. Now, of course, if you're doing this with pencil, you could paint right over it when you get to painting. This is just kind of a guide so we don't cover everything in blue and have to wait for that blue to dry completely. Okay. All right. And then we're going to do a diagonal. So we're going to match our right sides and our left sides together. So connect the dots here. Okay. We got somebody with a question. Sure. Ellie Rose says, if it's an 11 by 14, do you go horizontal or vertical? Um, you can, I would say still do the 14 this way and the 11 this way still still do yeah, a horizontal that portrait, right yeah and then you're just going to kind of scale down your sizes as i'm giving them to you thank you michelle edmondson for uh she just told her uh -oh. in the chat that's Good what job. we love you guys that's right we, guys, we get call the new you people guys. get the new people and bring them along <laughs> thank you so much we call you guys our mimosas community for a reason you guys are wonderful at helping one another out so we so appreciate that yes we do <laughs> all right so we've got this kind of uh, upside down trapezoid shape and we're going to do the inside of this as well so i want to do a diagonal line a slight diagonal line about an inch toward the center All right. We're going to repeat that diagonal on the right side, coming toward the center as well. About an inch again. Awesome. We'll connect these with that straight horizontal line. 
All right, you guys know Jen is semi-straight, okay? That's right, that's right. <laughs> I can't do a straight line. Not from the angle. <laughs> and then we want to connect these corners with the top. So these could be just slightly diagonal. I mean, if you want to do them straight, you certainly can. But... So that is the inside of our lamp now. All right. If anybody needs me to repeat, let me know, okay? Yes. All right, everybody's painting right now. No, oh, no, that means they're, they're uh, sketching. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's work on, let's get our post in there. So post is going to come right from the center. We'll do two little just kind of dots or guides. We want that to be about a half inch wide. Okay. Okay, and we're I'm just going to... zoom in a little bit more. And we're just bringing that down straight as you can. Uh-oh. Too close. Uh-oh. Backing it out. <laughs> All right, I got it zoomed in perfectly now. They could see it really good. Awesome. <clears throat> so we have our pole on there. And then we need the horizontal piece of the pole. Again, about a half of an inch. I just want to come down maybe about a half an inch. We'll make this horizontal pole a half of an inch wide. And we'll go with a horizontal line, straight as we can. Jen's always on an angle. Yes, yes. It's all right. <laughs> seems like that seems like that's something that really gets. It to does. You. It bothers me. It's just a, it's just a part of it. Part of what you do. <laughs> just make peace with it, baby. Make yeah, peace I with know. it. Yeah, I know. I know. I hear you. It's okay. <laughs> Nobody's and then, complaining. And then you can do your sign. So it looks like. My sign might be a little bit big, but I guess it's up to you how what, how big your name is, right? Oh, yeah. Some people were, were saying that. I got a really a long, long name. Long last name. Okay. So then you want to make your box about as long as you figure your name's going to take to put in there. So we're just going to create that rectangle here. One. Two. That's right. Keep that in mind as you make your rectangle. You can fit all the letters to your name <laughs> or whoever's name that you want to put, put in, in there. Put in there, right? And we're going to play with it a little. So I, you have the original that I've shown you guys. And I'm going to try and decorate it a little bit for the holidays and add maybe some holly or some garland to it. And we'll do that all at the end. I kind of like to try and change things up on demand for you guys when we get there. Great. All right. And then up here, it doesn't have to be completely done, but these are just long horizontal rectangles kind of stacked on top of one another. And if you don't want that flat, you can make a design on there if you want to. It doesn't have to be those horizontal rectangles. That's right. You can create whatever you want. There's no rules here. That's right. Uh, Michelle Mugford. Hi, Michelle. Yes. This will be kept online for you again <laughs> in case you can't, well, in you see, saying if, in case we can't keep up, but oh. um, we're we're gonna move at a nice slow pace. It's not we're gonna, gonna be something. We're gonna give everybody a minute to get to this point, and then absolutely ask ask you guys now for thumbs up when you are when you have your sketch done. Right. But I was told that you can rewind the live now. Oh, that's right. You can pause and rewind it, so you may not be quite there if you do happen to pause and rewind, you know, with us live. But you should be able to do that now. I think. And what we normally so you know. do here is we have her, uh, we have Jennifer repeat the steps. Yeah, if you need I'll to repeat, ask her. we can repeat. Yes. So don't worry about keeping up. We move at a pretty steady pace. Mm -mm -mm. We're not about speed here, <laughs> but we're not about perfection. We're all about expression. So you can <laughs> add to this whatever you like, what makes you happy. That's what we're here for tonight. We're here for you. It's self-care. You're going to paint the way you want to paint. That's right. Absolutely. So this painting was a painting that I did for my grandmother, like, uh, probably a year ago. Maybe two years ago now. Okay. And it never made it to her for Christmas. <laughs> 
So she's going to get it this year now. <laughs> there you go. And we'll put it in a frame this time since we have the frames. Oh, okay. That's <sighs> we'll awesome. show you the frame at the end. Because the frame really does make a big difference. I don't know what it is, but it just makes a difference. It does. All right. How was everybody's week? I know. It was another, like, one of those crazy weeks lately. It's been nuts. Give us some thumbs up and we will start on our background. Hey everybody, still people checking in. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You guys want me to uh, go over this really quickly again? I could try. Uh, no, it's okay. okay. Somebody's asking me to zoom back out. Oh. Just a smidge. Yeah, they may want to see the, the other one too. There we go. And then once we start our background and we get moving on our background, we'll, uh, we'll have Mark give us a couple of those upcoming events, which are... I can go off and start reading They're some so events. They're so plentiful now. <laughs> We've got a lot of things for you guys. Yeah, we we do. know that you'll be looking forward to doing something and escaping from all of the stuff that's happening and it's going on. And So true. Yeah, so it's all right. Tomorrow, we'll be doing Pickle one of my favorites... Pick. We're doing Pickle Rick. That's Friday, November 13th. Tomorrow we start at 9 p.m. So we can uh, give our West Coast viewers some time to uh, paint with us at a reasonable hour instead of so early. <laughs> All right. Rick. We're doing Pickle Rick tomorrow at 9 p.m. Then the next time we come on is uh, the Paint It Forward winter scene. Is that Zoom or is that Facebook? It, it is Zoom because it's a Paint It Forward, so it's a donation event. Right, so that's a donation event that we'll be doing Tuesday night. Right. That's November 17th. Nice, easy, simple painting. If you have kids, this is a really great one for the kids to do. Yes. Okay. Yes, Celine. Uh, I'm going to be work. I'm going to be getting Jennifer to work on that that shirt that says it's not about perfection, it's, it's about expression. expression. That's you know what? That is a great one. We have added to like kind of our giveaways and swag stuff. Aprons, mimosas and masterpieces aprons, or save water, drink mimosas aprons and masks. Yes. Um, I haven't, I keep forgetting to add the wine glasses, but we have purple etched wine glasses. Are they on the website? Not yet. I keep forgetting to add them. Okay. But yes, we got swag stuff coming. There's gift certificates available now. We've got a lot of stuff lined up for you guys. So you'll be able to just relax and paint with us at your leisure. That's right. Okay, the YouTube page is doing great. Thanks to Thank everybody that's been yes. going there, subscribing and, um, and painting with us. Um, we really appreciate it. So true. So good. Uh, Desiree awesome. Hagen says, I've Hi, never Desiree. done a real painting before. Oh. I wonder how this will turn out. Guess what? It'll it's going to turn fine. out fantastic. <laughs> Just take your time. Don't worry about perfection. Trust the process. Trust the process. Listen and watch Jennifer. You'll be fine. We got a lot of thumbs up, so you can Good go right deal. ahead. Let's do it. All right, so again, we're going to use that flat brush first. So what, depending on whatever size you have, even if you have a one-inch one, it's up to you. The bigger the brush, the faster it goes, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to pick this middle one, this three-quarter inch flat brush. And we are going to always rinse and dry before we start. Rinse, dry. You told them all of the colors? Yep. It is just four colors tonight. Blue, yellow, white, and black. All right. Um, so in your kits, for those of you that purchased the kits, you do have extra paint. There's always enough paint in those kits for you guys to do at least two paintings with me, just so you know. So, all right, here we go. All right. Flat brush. We're going to go with a corner of blue and a corner of white. So corner of blue, corner of white, and we're just going to go horizontal. We just want to fill the background in with the light blue. Now this can be as light or as dark as you want it to be. Okay, so just horizontal brush strokes all the way across. Light or as dark as you want it to be. Grab those edges and the tops, the sides as you go. Danielle Brandley says, is there a splatter phone club? I splattered my phone when we did the <laughs> snowman. I'm gonna have to write that down. Yeah, we have the wine, the wine <laughs> dipper. 
The wine dipper. The paint, yeah, the wine dipper, the paint water sippers. Yep. And now the foam splatterers. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to get you guys together on that. <laughs> so you're just going to keep going back and forth. Corner of blue, corner of white. Just horizontal brush strokes for now. We just want to get um, a background, kind of a, just a base coat on there. And you're going to go all the way up to your lamp? All the way across. Anything around the outside of our lamp and our sign. Okay. Okay, so that is going to take you guys a couple of minutes. There's no rush. While we do that, Mark can read, read off some more events. all of our events. And I'll try and, if you want to see something, I'll try and pick them up and show them to you. Okay, I'm going to answer Christina Oquist's uh, oh. question first. What's the name to follow on YouTube? The same as the Facebook page? Yep. No. Oh, no. The Facebook page is Mimosa and Masterpieces. Oh. The YouTube page is Mimosa's Masterpieces. One word. Yeah, because The website can't. is mimosasmasterpieces.com. One word. You got it. Yep. You'll see our logo. You'll see uh, our paintings on the page. And that way you'll know, you can uh, confirm that that's us. If you click on any of the videos, Maybe I'd say the first three videos that we posted, I put the air dates for all of the videos. Um, the majority of our videos have an intro where we come down out of the sky and we come <laughs> right through our front door and right down into the basement into our studio. And that's how you know you're painting with us. So I really am letting you guys into our little house, okay? That's right. Every time. <laughs> all right. I'm going to read off some more events that we have for the month of November so that you can join us whenever you like. Okay, the next Thursday, the 19th, is a self-care Thursday night, yes. which is going to change to thankful Thursday nights. It's both. It's both, yes. We'll be doing the pumpkin planner. I'm so excited about this. Mandy, are you on with us? I don't yes, know. Yes, she is. Is she? Yes. Yay. It's a 9 p.m. start, so our people on the West Coast don't have to, uh, they can join us live. That's right. You know, and not at a, such an early hour, which they all appreciate, I'm sure. Yep. Okay, and then uh, the next day is a big, big night. Okay, we're doing Golden Girl Friends Night. That's right. All right, it's a lot of people that have been waiting for this moment. <laughs> and we're going to make it real special for you guys. We've got some, some, some creative ideas that we're going to implement for that night. So we, yeah, we may have some in-person painters with us that night, so yeah, we might have some girlfriends here. That's going to come down into the basement studio <laughs> and join us for Golden Girls Night. That's Friday, next Friday, November 20th, 8 p.m. start time, Golden Girls Friends Night. We're looking forward to it. Yes, we are. Okay, and then uh, we'll be off until Thanksgiving night. Thanksgiving night, we call it that family paint night. It's a 7 p.m. Eastern start, okay? And here's how we're going to do this. We'll be painting penguins, okay? People on the West Coast, don't worry. You can do the video as soon as we're done. We'll post it. So you don't have to rush through your Thanksgiving. Uh, when it's time for you to have Thanksgiving is over and y'all are having dessert or whatever and the guys are watching football and you want to <laughs> get the kids together or you just want to have a family affair and you want to paint, you can do the video. The video will be up for you. So don't <laughs> worry about that. But yes, we'll be here Thanksgiving night, the 26th next, no, not next Thursday. Is it next Thursday? The Thursday after next Thursday. <laughs> Time just kind of runs into another. All of my days just sort of mesh. So yes. I yeah, it happens to me all the time too because we're just lining up events now. It's just like almost for the rest of this month we're, we're doing something every three or four days. So, um, uh, yes, we are painting. If you're, if we're not live, we're doing a private event. Right. So we're painting four to five nights a week at this point now. Yes. Especially this time of year. <laughs> but just keep in mind, Thanksgiving, the whole Thanksgiving weekend. Yes. We're here. We are. Okay. Starting on Thanksgiving night with family paint night, painting the penguins. Okay. Friday night, 8 p.m. start time is Elf on a Shelf, getting you ready for the holiday season. All right. Then Saturday, we're doing a double header. Okay, 3 o'clock, the 28th, we're doing the Grinch first. And then at 9 o'clock, we're doing Max and Cindy Lou. Those of you on the California and the West Coast, uh, you want to do the Grinch, 
you don't have to join us at 12 o'clock no. in the afternoon. You can do the Grinch at night, too. Right. You can wait till uh, the other one's over, Jack and um, Max and Cindy, Cindy Lou, Lou, and then go back to the Grinch. <laughs> yep. Right? Or you can, uh, we'll do, Matt, we'll do the Grinch at 3 p.m. I figure we'll be done by 5, 6 at the latest, and they can do the Grinch at that time when we post the video. True. And then join us again for Max and Cindy Lou at 9 o'clock, or just stick with us for the whole time. Whatever you want. You're, we, you're stuck with us all day long now. That's right. We'll be here <laughs> the entire Thanksgiving weekend. You can paint. So you pick and choose whatever you want. You could, you could do the videos later, or you just pick one of them days, whether you want to do Elf on the Shelf, or The Grinch, or Max and Cindy Lou, or you want to join us on Family Paint Night on Thanksgiving night. Yeah. But we're going to be here for you guys. And just know on our website, what we ask you to do is go to the website to sign up for all of these events. Um, they do say that they're a dollar. If you just read in the event description, I'm sorry, in the description on the website, there's a promo code for every one of them so that they're free. You do have to check out separately for all of them if you don't want to pay the dollar because it will only take one promo code at a time. But... We ask you to sign up on the website. Why? Because it gives you your supply list. It gives you all of the FAQs, where we're going to be, when we're going to be, where the video will go, and your sketches, if there's sketches. So everything is in one place. Makes it easier for both of us. <laughs> now, while everybody's doing their background, um, Susan Burgett says when, she's, when you're facing Hi, away Susan. from the camera and the microphone is difficult for her to hear. Here, I'm sorry. She says her computer volume is turned all the way up. Okay, I will try to always face this way when I'm talking. Yeah, uh, where's the microphone? Is it close it's down enough? Here. It's okay. Yeah, it's we down. got like a, a universal microphone. It's, it's taking the whole room. Something Let's in front of can, it? Yeah, Ooh, barely. There we go. There we go. I don't have a lot of paint. Can I add water to thin it out? Yeah, you can. It just may look um, like a like watercolor painting. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, Renee Malet says, "Is that sweet guy in the background your hubby?" Yep. Of course. <laughs> no, I'm just a random guy that just comes down and does paint shows with her. When, you know, he's I'm a been good with friend. me for about eight years. So I guess I'll keep him around. There you go. <laughs> I'm trying to make myself useful. <laughs> yes, Mona Parsham, Parsham. Well, the video will be available later. Every time we do a session. We always post a video later, yep. and that video usually will, will end up most likely on the YouTube channel. So if you go to our YouTube channel, you will see past Someone's videos. There. I put the Mark, air dates on all of them. I now. was going to say, Mark just posted the hot air balloon today, and I'm, that's my favorite painting that we've done. Yes. That I have done personally, because somebody asked me, what's my favorite painting that I've done? That's the one. <laughs> now, I just covered all of the events that we have coming up for November. the month of November. I'll go through the December lineup a little later yeah. as we get started with our uh, finishing up our paintings. You got it. Well, why don't you guys give us those thumbs up again when your background is complete? Because I know this will take a couple of minutes, especially if you only have that smaller brush. <laughs> right. We're not we're not rushing no anybody. Rush. You take your time. Give me some thumbs up, and we get enough of them, and then we'll move on to the next you step. You got it. Elena March says, random Elena. guy, come to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Random, uh, it's more yes. like random guy, please carry all these boxes upstairs and out to my car. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Elena's saying, uh, did you do the wall painting? They think that's a painting behind you. <laughs> um, it's just a backdrop. I did not paint that. Yeah, it's just a it's just a backdrop that we try to we try to <laughs> change it up spice a little. up the look of everything when we uh have different events. I don't know what I'm gonna do for Pickle Rick tomorrow, but I'm gonna do something. I think just our mimosas logo is going up tomorrow. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That's pretty much all I have to go with. But it's okay. Yeah, yeah, so we're just taking our time now, letting everybody get, you know, caught up. I see I see one thumbs up from one of our top fans, Michelle Edmondson. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. But well, she knows how the process goes, so that's why <laughs> she's done. So we got a lot of new people here tonight, and we want to give them a chance to uh, take their time. So was anybody that's with us tonight on the Zoom event with the sloth the other day? Oh, that was just a great day. I'm so in love with the sloth. <laughs> I want to hold him. <laughs> well, you know, uh, people don't people don't know 
that you have been trying to make a slot of it for like what seven months no six months no this is a year now this is it's over over a year. a year ago i tried to yeah it's been even more than that it's been a year and a half a year and a half ago i started planning to do the sloth in person painting event right and that got moved from last august no no last april that's right april april it was supposed to be in april of course everything it was shut down to be a live event in person with the sloth and then COVID. and so yep. april was out of the question and then we we pushed, pushed it back. out to august <laughs> and then august still no dice had to cancel it completely so i improvised we compromised and we had the sloth on zoom and it was awesome yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, was awesome the kids that were on with us asked the best questions i was so impressed with their questions yeah i wasn't surprised they did great the zookeeper who was holding um maple yes. <laughs> mr maples yes was holding maple was so great with them um so i loved it so much we immediately contacted um, another zoo and asked what can we do again we want to do the sloth again we want to do other one we want to do other things so right for all of my uh penguin lovers we're gonna do a penguin in january yep and we're not only just gonna do a penguin on zoom we're gonna film at the zoo with the penguin yes we're gonna I'm do so a live excited. from the zoo <laughs> from the zoo Okay, just for you guys. Well, it's for me too, because I'm really excited about the penguin in person. Absolutely. <laughs> um, well, you said you didn't want to do the snake, but you'll do the penguin. No, okay, yeah. So we have three things set up. Um, the penguin, <laughs> a, a rainbow boa for our guys, our, our, our young men, our boys, because Aiden was, uh, you know, had a yeah, slight obsession snakes. with snakes. Yeah. Um, and we're going to do the sloth again. So... Um, more for the new year, you guys. We will be posting stuff soon. So we're so excited to work with them. Um, so all of them are going to be Zoom events. They are all going to have a fee, but we are donating the money back to the zoo. So proceeds will go to the zoo. Yes. You've got a bunch of... Uh, thumbs up. a bunch of thumbs up. You can go ahead and proceed. Beautiful. All right, here we go. We're going to switch up our brushes. <laughs> So rinse and dry that flat brush, and we're going to switch to that medium round brush. Danielle Brandley says, giraffes, and I am there. We Girl, asked for the giraffes. They said, no dice. I asked, I asked, I asked, I asked, and they said, sorry, we cannot, is, that is one of the animals that we cannot do. Yeah, so, I was like, you can't put a brush in its mouth and then it's just paint? <laughs> no, they wasn't going for none of it. We were like, Please. I tried, I tried, girl, I did. I know. I promise I'll get a giraffe on here on our lineup at some point. I'm sorry. Yeah. Has not happened yet. Um, I'll give you a list of other things and we'll kind of do a poll of what we want to do next. Because every time we do it, it, it does cost us money, but it's okay. It's yeah, we worth, don't care about it's that. worth it for for the um, experience, for the memory. Exactly. Just for just just to have fun. <laughs> okay, here we go. So with that medium round brush, we're going to start to create some little circles and curves and swirls. Oh. I'm going to start with my original blue, just to start with a, another color. Okay. So original blue. Now you can make your swirls wherever you want them. I'm going to start up here in this nice big section. All right. And we're going to start with just doing some little curved lines, okay? So you can do... Um, like little C's? Little C's, or if you want to, you can do um, almost like a pinwheel, right? And just keep going with it. Oh, I'm going to zoom in again. Okay. So these swirls can be as big or as small as you want, and we can keep making them bigger as we go. Um, Kim Felso says, what zoo? Hi, Kim. Turtleback Zoo? No. no. Lehigh Valley. We'll You're be in be Pennsylvania. Yes. We'll be in PA. Oh, and Ang Angela Proven Provencio says, do you have a virtual tip jar? We do, yes. We will post that later. It is on our website. Um, so all of you that have purchased the kits for the lamppost will be in our round one of giveaway. So we always like to give back to you guys too. So we'll do a couple of prizes for round one. 
And then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do um, a giveaway for round two. So right. anybody that uses our tip jar, we put you guys in a spinner too, and we'll come back tomorrow and do a giveaway then. All right. Okay. All right. So aside. So now they're just gonna make these. So you're gonna start with some curves, and then if you want to do a little bit of some like waves in there, you can add some little waves in there. And this is at your leisure. You're gonna put That's them wherever right. you want wherever them. Wherever you want them. And put your own creative touch onto your painting. That's right. This is what we encourage. We want everybody's painting to have a little variety to it because we're going to ask you to take a picture and That's send it right. to us and post it on our page, post it on your page and tag us. That's what we want. That's a big thrill for us. It really is. This is my favorite part. Um, we'll get a little curve up here. Maybe we'll get another one over here. And, and we really, really love and appreciate the distances. Okay, I mean, uh, we're looking at people from Pittsburgh, Marie, Piranha. Mm -hmm. We've got Hi, Marie. Angela Diddles Allen from Arizona. Hi, Angela. Okay, so we got cool. Kim from Pennsylvania. Hi, Kim. We, we, this is just amazing for us that so many people are joining us tonight, and that and, and the range is just far and wide. <laughs> this is what we this is what we we love. So again, I'm just we're just gonna give you a minute or so. So you're just gonna create some of those curves, maybe a couple of spirals a couple of little wavy lines in there. They sort of look like a movement. We're almost going for that like starry night type of look. Right, right? if you want to put stars. We'll get there, we'll get there. Whatever. I want you to do blue first, okay. the darkest color first, mm -hmm. and then we'll work up. We'll go to a light yellow, and then we'll go to white. Okay, so give that a couple of minutes there. And then when you're ready to go for the next step, just Give us those thumbs you know, up. flash us some thumbs up, and we'll be ready to move on. <laughs> flash we got, us thumbs. We got Sheila Scomio from Oregon. Hi, Sheila, Oregon. Yeah, I'm just happy that our West Coast so people cool. are not dissuaded because of the time that we start. There's a lot of people from the well, West Coast, from eight. California. Like, I wasn't like it. It was like I know there's a couple that are coming up that are at like seven o'clock, so that one might be a little tougher for them. But it's all good. Lots right. of people from the Los Angeles area, Florida, Wenda Florida. Morales from Florida. Hi, Wenda. What blue are you using for the swirl? Is just, it darker? Just the darker blue, yep. So we took, when we did the background, we took a corner blue, corner of white. So my background looks like it's a light blue. So I just used that original blue, like my primary blue, mm -hmm. for my, my circles and swirls and waves. So just the regular blue. Awesome. Okay, but as always, you don't always have, you don't have to follow my colors. If you have other colors that you want to use, if you want to make a purple and you have red and you want to make purple, you go for it. Right, right. <laughs> we're going to, we're going to add um, the next color. We're going to grab a little bit of yellow. So you'll rinse and dry. Okay. A little scoop of yellow and a scoop of white. So we can make a light yellow color. Hi, Ashley Evan from Fargo, North Dakota. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. Fargo, that's yes. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna kind of come in between those little lines and those circles, and and it's okay if they overlap. This is kind of like that abstract part of it. We have Dava Nicole Bodecki. Hi. You have me and my two daughters from Illinois. Hi guys, welcome. So I'm just kind of repeating those patterns and going in between those blue lines that I made already. Just using that yellow, that light yellow that we made. And it's okay if they touch, if they overlap, no problem. Travis Wolstatter said, Hi Travis. I use teal in mine. That's great. That's that is my, a good That idea. is my favorite color, so yes. yes. I love my teal and my purples. <laughs> yes, yes you do, you do love the teal. <laughs> You'll find it in most of my paintings. <laughs> All you got to do is look through our Facebook page. Yeah. <laughs> you'll see it. Go to the YouTube. Go to the YouTube channel. You'll see some teal. That's it. So we're just continuing with some of those little curves. What's going on down there, boy? He's just waiting for you to end. I know. So he can have you back. We're talking about Rascal. That's it. Rascal the rescue dog. 
Yep. When you uh when you go to our videos on on <laughs> YouTube and you see the intro, you'll see Rascal at the end. He's all over, he's always there at her feet yes. every time we have a session. Right now, even he's right there at her feet. Oh, you just yeah. can't see him because I'm zoomed in on the oh, on the yeah. canvas. <laughs> oh, he's always at my feet. Yeah, he's always at your feet. And we will rinse and dry. It's coming coming along very nice. Yep. Sometimes we just have to say, trust the process. I know some people get like nervous and they're going, oh, I don't know if I like that. That's not right. Whatever. But trust the process a little. Yes. There's no need for stress. Nope. Now, I want to bring something up mm -hmm. for Jennifer, mm. for our viewers. Okay. Uh, we have put her in a contest. That contest is the Small Business Big Wins Contest at Barclays. That's the Barclays Center over in Brooklyn in New York City. Okay, all the contest entries have been accepted. They're no longer accepting anybody else. Jennifer is one of those contestants. Okay, and it says, this has been a time of adversity and adaptation for the business world. <laughs> okay, on December 4th, 2020, they're going to ask us to vote for a winner, okay? The winning stories will receive a several cash prizes with a grand prize of $50,000, okay? We're going to give you information in the future on where you can vote, okay? But I'm just letting everybody in, our, all our <laughs> viewers know tonight that we have put our story in for Jennifer see. to see if, uh, if she can win this contest. She had to talk about all the adversity that she had to go through, how we got to where we are now, because Jennifer was a, a live traveling paint and sip experience, and her whole year was wiped out by the COVID, okay? And we decided, okay, we'll just have a little fun. She tells you the story all the time. She just wanted <laughs> to have a little fun, get a couple of people, 500 people to like her and do a virtual painting session, and it blew up to what it is now. Yeah. And now we're just doing it for you guys we, we we changed from doing it to go out you know and it just became something bigger than it really did we didn't even imagine that it could it really be. did it's so awesome so and we put that story in. To you guys totally right we put that story yeah. in to this contest and on december 4th um they're going to be letting people vote for a winner and uh, we'll give you the details as soon as we know them where you can send your votes and um yep. we hope that she can win <laughs> It'll be nice. So while you have that light yellow color, same brush, I'm just going to have you rinse and dry just to get any of that blue off if you happen to have picked up blue. Rinse and dry, and we're going to make a little bit more of that if you don't have enough. It's that same light yellow color. Awesome. There's people already saying, you got my vote. Aw, thanks, guys. We appreciate it. We are just trying to, I mean, I thought it was just kind of... Um, coincidental that I came across it after we were just talking about how do we really like how do we really make this our livelihood how do we make this our business yeah um I work full-time I come home we do Aiden we do family time a little bit and it's kind of a small family time sometimes yeah and then I'm down here working after I go alive um, down here until 1, 2 in the morning most nights and yep. creating events. And then back up in the morning and <laughs> 6 30, to school, 7 o'clock. <laughs> she's back to work. So, and yeah, it's, 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 it's uh, tiring. It is. It's, it's tiring. But this is what keeps me going is seeing you your guys. feedback, seeing the response, seeing your shares. Um, I found that group that you guys kept tagging me and people kept tagging me in an online paint group that people were talking about paintings that they've been doing. And I thought, oh my gosh, it's so awesome that you guys are sharing um, just yourselves because you're proud of what you've done. And that is the biggest part of this for me. Yep, that's so, what makes her the most proud, the most happy. It is, and you're going to make me cry. It brings tears to her eyes. Stop. Yes, it does. She cries on the regular. <laughs> all right, all right, stop. <laughs> all right, yeah, light I'm yellow. Not complaining. Light I'm yellow. not complaining. I'm always there to console you I and hold that. you and let you know it's all right. <laughs> People just appreciate what you do. All that's right. all. <laughs> light yellow. So I want to use that light yellow color in the right two sides of our lamp. Okay, so I'm going to bring that light yellow in the, in the sides of our lamp. Yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, 
yes, this is what it is, you know? <laughs> we care about you guys. You guys yes, have given do. us this opportunity to do what we're doing, and we love it, and we appreciate it. So, um, okay. you know, we're looking forward. We could, if we could do this every day for the rest of our lives, we would do it, okay? <laughs> and, I, and believe me, I have plenty of things to do. I, I love acting. I love doing filmmaking. I have my own projects to work on. But this is Jennifer's dream, and I just cling to whatever it is that she wants. She wants, <laughs> she wants this is her dream. We figured it out. We're doing it. I'm doing it for her. I don't <laughs> care what it is. That's how I got to the position that I'm in. The man behind the screen and the camera. Yes. <laughs> And every time somebody says, can you, can we see Mark? No, no, you don't need to see Mark. <laughs> Jennifer's the star. We'll get him there eventually. Don't worry. Go to the YouTube channel. You'll see me in the, in the intro. That's all. You'll see me there. All right. So after these two side sections are filled in, I just want you to bring it right across the top of that um, center section just a little bit. Just a little. And then I'm going to have you just grab white. So we're going to fill the rest of this in with white. Same brush. I'm not going to rinse and dry because you still have some of that yellow in here. So I'm just grabbing white and we're going to use what's in our brush. Okay, just grabbing white and filling in that center section. Okay. Uh, so you haven't started something now. Oh, well, what happened? I want to see the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda Morales. Uh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, on, like the YouTube have the page, on the YouTube page, there's a, one of them will have our intro, and you'll you'll be able to see him there. Yeah, other than that, I like to keep the mystery alive. <laughs> and then uh, we're also going to use that same brush, and there is still yellow in there. Okay. So we're going to just grab more white, and we're going to fill in this little um, the sign? sign as well. Yeah, see, Michelle Edmondson says... You guys should do a couple's paint night and Mark paints too. That was yeah, in the right. beginning. Good luck. That was in the beginning. We have a we have a date night. <laughs> uh, uh, we have a date night video on our YouTube channel. That was the one where I painted. Yes, the sun and the moon, half the sun, half the moon. I didn't paint in that video though, did I? No. But you got me to paint that painting. I did. At a live event. Yes. That was our first couple's painting live <laughs> yeah maybe one day we'll have an event where i'll join in the painting it would have to be a really special event because we are planning on having people come and join us live while you guys join us live yeah we, we talked about that today we did we did so we we'd like to test out the uh the having a few people in the studio while we're painting painting with us yes um, and see how that turns out. Because <laughs> it's my idea, like, if we had a TV show, which, uh, which is something that I'm working on that I would like to have, you know, or, or on a cable network or something, where we would have special guests, special, um, you know, whatever the viewers want to see, you know, somebody from their favorite TV show, or, or what, depending on what cable channel we're on, we're on, or what stars they have on that cable channel, you know, <laughs> special guest people. You know, interesting people come and join us and paint with us. You know, that's just part of the things that my creative mind is uh, planning for Jennifer in the future. We want to always keep this fresh and new and exciting, and we get all of the ideas from you guys, you guys yeah. and then we try to capitalize on that and create even more from your ideas. Yeah, we want this to be fun for you, always changing, always keeping up with something different and doing something fun and new and interactive. That's why several of the events that you'll hear coming up in December yes. are slightly interactive events. So um, I'm excited to create those things. I'm a party planner by nature. My yes. friends call me Martha for, you know, obvious reasons, Martha Stewart. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little more extra than Martha when it comes to the things that I do. <laughs> Yeah, but, um, <laughs> she's a great planner. I cannot outplan her, but, so I gave up a long time ago. <laughs> you can't can still try. <laughs> I do try, but it's like I can't outplan her. I can't outsurprise her. She's just you got me last year. Yeah, one time. She does it all year. I got one in. You know, that's about as good as I can do. One in a year, no matter how clever I can try to be. Uh, I still, I'm, believe me, I'm very creative with the art and all of that stuff. But when it comes to planning stuff and making memories, <laughs> she's the top. She, you can't, 
There's no competition. We're making memories. That's what we do. Yep. Uh, Melissa DeArco says, is the center of the layer painted yellow? So I used, um, even with my brush, still with that yellow paint, I, once I did the, um, the sides and a little across the top with that yellow, then I just grabbed white and I just added white to it. So it just kept getting lighter and lighter and lighter. And same in this sign down here. I, I used the same brush that still kind of had that yellow built up inside of it. Okay. Just grabbed the white and then continued to fill that in. And it's that real light, light yellow. And then I'll, you'll just rinse and dry again. Now I'm looking at this December lineup. I know. And you know I see a certain word here. You know I'm going to say that word. <laughs> Are there any kids on tonight? <laughs> of, of course it's got to be kids. It's got to be kids listening. You know me now. <laughs> All right. Once we rinse and dry that brush, we're going to go back with just the white, and we're going to do those whites in the swirls as well. Okay. Okay. Now, if the white comes out and it seems like it's too bright for you and you want to, like, lighten it up, yeah. you can always mix with a little bit of blue and make it a lighter white or a lighter blue. But I'm just going to go over it with some of these and fill in some of that space. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Oh, yeah. Move it over. Move it over. <laughs> just so they can see where you're putting these white... Yeah, I'm kind of just following the shapes at this point and overlapping sometimes. Okay, it's all right to overlap. Yeah, we're overlapping sometimes. And depending on what you're doing in your background, all you're doing is overlapping and like uh, detailing around the images that you put on your, on yep, your background. Yeah, I'm just following those same shapes that we made before with the, now just with the white, but I'm overlapping and almost blending in some areas. No need to, you know... Be exact. There's no exact stuff here. Right. See, now my imagination is saying, this is the wind. Yeah, It's exactly. blowing and it's blowing. And <laughs> that's what I see. Yeah. And, and no two people are going to see the same thing, Correct. but that's what I see. No, you're right. Little swirls of wind it's, blowing it's around. It's creating, so all these little swirls are creating movement. And that's what these are for. Awesome. All right, so while they're doing this, I'm going to start into the December lineup oh. of our events. The first event we have for the month of December is December 3rd, which is a Thursday. And of course, Care that's Thursday. Self Care Thursdays, one of our favorite days of the week. <laughs> uh, it's at 8 p.m. Eastern start time. We're going to be doing the leg lamp from the uh, movie A Christmas guys, Story. Yes, the leg lamp. You guys asked and we made it happen. Where are you? Here that's you right. You ask and we make it happen. There you go. That's it. The leg lamp from uh, A Christmas Story. Yeah. That's Thursday, December 3rd. The day after that, <laughs> December 4th, the title is called Shitter's Full. <laughs> now, where is that from? Um, Do you even it? have that painting? Yeah, he's here somewhere. Where's Eddie? Where's Shitter's Full? <laughs> Just want to say the bad word. You know I love to say bad words. <laughs> Shitter's full. It's That's what. Now hold it. Did they give us this? Did they give us this one, or did you think of this? I, one? I thought of you this thought one. of that one. Because last year I probably painted about six wine glasses with this on it. Right. <laughs> so I thought, all right, well, we'll give it a shot. So. Yeah. So she came up with that. Cousin one Eddie. <laughs> empty in the RV. <laughs> <laughs> now she did all of that, knowing that I would be loving to say that word. Oh so. my goodness. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about posting that one. I did. I already posted it. Oh, okay. Well, then we're good then. I can say it. Well, I posted it with the the I replaced with an asterisk. asterisk. Oh, Sarah Ross, thank you for joining us. Hi, Sarah Ross. She says, I love the way he talks about you. Aww. I'm from snowy Saskatchewan, Canada. Ooh. That's awesome. Snowy. I like snowy. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Now, while you guys are doing your swirls, if you want to add snow to this, you can add snow to this. Add some dots of white in there. You can definitely add that. Um, again, when we're all done, whether I add it to this one or that one, I'll add a, we'll do one and make it look a little more kind of Christmassy. Okay. So, 
get those um, swirls on there with the, so we have blue, white, and yellow, or light yellow on there, and mm -hmm. then give us those thumbs up. Okay, now, um, we have a comment here from Carolyn Santos. Okay. She says, Mark, this pandemic has given people permission to step out of their comfort zones. <laughs> I've always wanted to tell stories, and now I am. Aww. And because of that, I am now the chapter director for Startup Grind Kansas City. I would love to talk to you both about doing a fireside chat and telling your story to other entrepreneurs, innovators, and creators. Absolutely. You message, um, yeah, you message send Jennifer us, send after me this email. is over. <laughs> and we'll do something. We'll figure something out. We would love to chat and talk. We definitely. I always talk about that. We we did that with the interview last week or two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, that box that I had was, you know, only a couple of square radius miles, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and then. Once COVID hit, I had to think outside that box. I was really, I kind of was a little depressed when everything started canceling. So the night that everything kind of hit, I had a full car of 60 easels, a setup for 60 for Maggiano's because we paint for Maggiano's. Right. It was a great paycheck for me for that night. And they called me after I got my car loaded and said, we have to cancel. So... <laughs> Yeah. And then it went downhill from there. Everything for the next eight months canceled on me. And of course, you know me, I was like, baby, it's going to be all right. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Something's going to happen that will be all right. <sighs> Here we are. So we, so I said, let's, I just want to put good out. So what can I do to put good out while I'm stuck here? And I'm not a, I was not, a, I don't want to be filmed. I don't want to be, I don't want to be on camera. I was not that person. And I said, let's just try and go live. Let's just try and paint something. Let's give it to them. We're, we're going to paint something. Let's give it to them anyway. So people that wanted to do it, you're going to paint it. You're going to paint it for free this time. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we did it. And from those, the outpouring of support and love that we had um, from just that event. Just that night. The tips that people asked, you know, people were asking us, can I pay you? Can we give you a tip? And I did not, that didn't even cross my mind at that moment. Right. We just wanted to do a painting. And I see cried. Who was, who was all, I just handed Mark the phone because I was blubbering. I was just blah, 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 blah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and I was like, what? Did somebody say something wrong? Who said it? Okay? And it was not that at all. It was people saying, thank so, you yeah. so much. Oh, we really needed this. I oh, think, man. yeah, this was, was like, like wow. that was, we were the first, I think, to hop on that. Let's just do it live and see what happens. And we took all of the money that you guys sent us and then some. Yep. <laughs> a lot and more. And what some. did you do? And what did you do? We decided to create the biggest birthday party we could for kids that were missing their birthdays. So we sent out presents to probably about 60 kids, 80 yeah, kids. Yeah, I was the one driving around. And, and if they were doors. local, I, we dropped them off. But So we, we said, we're going to paint a cupcake. We're going to shout every one of their names out. We're going to sing happy birthday. We sent them presents. And it was the best birthday party that I could have given virtually. Uh, and, that, and that was and that so video, awesome. And that video oh, is on, on our YouTube our, that's page. That's right. It is. It's on the web. It's the on the YouTube. The cupcake, right? Yeah, the cupcake. That's we what we did. We had the party for the kids, and the kids poured. They responded. So with like, awesome. thank you so much. We got so, so this. Awesome. We got that. I was driving from house to house all over New uh. Jersey, <laughs> for creeping up on people's porches and dropping off little bags with presents and stuff in them. And people looking at me, who's this black guy walking up on our, on our steps, you know? And I was like, okay, you know, let's uh, just stop that, okay? Because people are looking at me funny. No, I am always about, we're always about giving back and paying it forward whenever we can. Um, so my, um, my full circle is when, you know, when you put something good out, those ripples, it's a ripple effect. It goes out, right? That's right. And the ripple will eventually come back to you. So it came back to us in... There's 30,000 of you following and watching, right? So it came back to us with your gratitude and your testimonials and all of that came back to us. So that's what it does. Thank you. <laughs> and, and, and I'm the person who knows about the camera and is an actor and everything. So I was telling her, don't even worry about it. You'll be uh, fine. When they see that smile and they, they hear you talk and they see how you paint, they're going to love it. And she was like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, just, let's just do it and see what happens. And the rest is history. It is. <laughs> All right, we're going to rinse and dry that brush again, and we're going to just go to black. So we're going to start with our pole, our post, okay? Rinse and dry, oh, okay. and go to black. Okay, I need to, to zoom in on this one. 
Well, let's first start with the easiest part, which is we're just going to fill in those poles, okay? Okay. So the horizontal and that vertical pole, we'll just fill those in. And if this that medium brush seems too um, large for you, you can always go to that smaller brush too if you want. Um, sometimes I say if you don't feel like you have control kind of hovering over your canvas, yeah. hold your brush like a pencil. Yes. Use your, your pinky to stabilize. So pencil grip, pinky stabilize. Yes. Rest it on your canvas and then you can let your fingers do the work and you have a little bit of control over where that brush is going. Just stay within the boundaries of your pole. There you go. Because the black gets everywhere if you go out of bounds. I'll do. That's it. We're just going to fill those in to start. Oh my goodness. So what else do you have for December? Give me, give me oh, one yeah, more for well, December. After, after I did uh, Friday, December 4th, 9 p.m. start, shitter's full. <laughs> the next day, December 5th, is a special night. It was the night before Christmas painting is what we're going to be doing. Yeah, that's a Zoom event, isn't it? It is a Zoom. So that's yes. a special event. That's a Christmas event. Yep. So what we're going to do is, so for this event, and you can sign up for just the Zoom. You don't have to purchase the kit for it. It's this painting. We will have Santa joining us. And reading Twas the Night Before Christmas with us, with the kids. Yes. Um, your kit. Get down. Sorry, your kit Please. does come with a light that will that you can put behind the canvas to light up Rudolph's nose a I bit. Grab one of those lights and put it on there so oh, you yeah, can see yeah, it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Hold on. I remind. I always have to remind her sometimes. <laughs> so there's a little light that goes back here that will. That you're gonna put on the nose. You can put on Rudolph's nose. Um, but then we get to. We get to have a little time with Santa. That's Saturday, December 5th. Yes. We'll be doing that. That's for the Christmas season. Okay, now, you got something listed here, December 8th at 8 p.m., the Jolly Gnome. <gasps> the Jolly Gnome. Right, that's going to be on Facebook, right? That is on Facebook. Facebook All right, Live, so we're yeah. going to do another gnome, because that was one of our, um, that was the one of our big, uh, ones. big ones when she did the gnome. The gnome is on, the gnome that we did YouTube. previously is on the YouTube channel. Is the gnome by you? Uh, I don't know. I don't see. Left side. Nope. No. Okay. The jolly gnome? Yeah. No. Right next to the printer? No, I don't see anything on the floor next to the printer. Okay. I don't know. We'll find I'll the jolly find gnome in the cemetery. I'll find him. But um, we had such a great response when we did the gnome, which is now on the YouTube channel. Yes. Um, and that's doing well on the YouTube channel because people like gnomes. People love gnomes. Oh my yes. gosh. It's another one I didn't realize there was such a following for. So. Right. So she decided to do the Jolly Gnome. And that's going to be Tuesday, December 8th at 8 p.m. Hmm. All right. Oh, he's right back here. Found you got him? Oh, he's, he's way back here. Back. He's was, hiding all the way back there. I put him up here and I guess I just. Yeah. Him. I don't know. Yeah, you've been looking at him a lot. You, as a matter of fact, she posted him on the Facebook page. You see him. <laughs> she got him dancing around and everything. So there's our gnome. Yeah, so we're doing a Christmas gnome. That's December 8th, 8 p.m. Then that Thursday, self-care Thursday, 8 p.m. start time again, Eastern time, is the Christmas moose. Oh, Christmas see? moose. They kind of the go hat. together, yeah. Right, see? so they go together. We're yes. just getting everybody set up and ready for Christmas. That's all. <laughs> Jennifer's already ready for Christmas. You know, Aiden already has his Christmas tree <laughs> up, okay? Let me let you know that right now. Aiden got his own Christmas tree in his room. He done put it up already. Yes, he did. Okay. My boy. That's my boy. Yes, he is your boy. That's right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to come right across the top and fill these in as well. Okay, right across the top of our lamp, and we're just filling those in. Just going to fill them all in with black? Yep, all in with black. So you did your posts. And you did the post holding the sign. Yep. And now you're just going to do the top part of your lamp. Yep. Just kind of giving you big areas to do right now before we get to details. So go ahead. You can keep going. Yeah. See, Celine says, the gnome painting is how I found you guys. Oh, see, I'm so glad I posted the gnome because, see, Celine is now our friend. Yes. Our friend top in fan. Canada. And Danielle Bradley, another top fan, says, have you ever done chickens? I have not done chickens. 
That is the first time that's Gotta been asked. Got to write that one down. Chickens, huh? Write it, write right, it down. Right. Aiden talks about chickens all the time. I don't know why we didn't <laughs> even think of it. Why. Yeah. That's probably why I didn't think of it. All right, now, I told you Thursday, December 10th is going to be the Christmas moose with the lights and the hat, yep. okay? But then that whole weekend, okay, that's Saturday. Uh, that's Saturday, December 12th. It's a 3 p.m. Eastern start time. We're doing the Polar Express. Mm. All Christmassy things coming up, leading up to Christmas. Yes. All right. You know? Polar Express. Polar Express. I'm we we for this really painting. worked hard. She really worked hard on figuring out what from the Polar Express she could paint. Okay. So I watched the movie twice. This is the scene that was my favorite. Yes. So this is what we went with. Yeah. And then we also looked at a lot of paintings of what people did for the Polar Express. And it was a lot of the images of same, the train and all of that thing. stuff. But it wasn't that image. And I agreed with her when we saw the movie. That was the best image. And then she planned the whole thing for this. Matter of fact, Polar Express, that's on Facebook or that's a Zoom event, isn't this it? Is, no, it's, it is on Facebook. So it this, is on Facebook. So it's free to paint with us. Okay. Free to paint with us for this event. Okay. To purchase your kit, when you buy your kit, what comes in your kit? Is your canvas, your paints, your set of brushes, a good set of brushes. Yeah. Um, your plates for mixing. The extra stuff for Polar Express is your hot chocolate mix. You're going to have chocolate chip cookies. It's your Believe ornament, which is a little memento for our day. Yes. Their first gift of Christmas, which is their bell. Okay, that comes in it. So if you don't need the painting supplies, mm -hmm. today I added just the extra, the swag. So you can buy that as just an extra. And that's all on our website, mimosasmasterpieces.com. You got it. One word. Yeah. And you can order the kits now before December 12th. And the start time is going to be 3 p.m. That's a Saturday. Then okay. the following Saturday... <laughs> We, uh, we're going to round out the month of December before the Christmas vacation <laughs> or the Christmas uh, holiday. We're doing, we're going to revisit the nightmare before Christmas. That's right. That was one of our that most. That was the uh, top uh, event that we've ever done. The top event that done. we've done for the year. We you had guys. more people, oh over 4,000 people joined us that night. Yep. And um, they demanded that we do this again. <laughs> so we're going to do Sally at 3 p.m. On December 19th, that's a Saturday. And then at 9 p.m. that same day, we'll be doing Jack. That's right. So those on the West Coast, you want to do Sally, you can always wait and do the, do the video after we're done. We'll post it right after we do the event. And Jack will be uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. There's Jack. There's Jack. And then there's Sally. Now you, and you can, can put them together. Now you can do also do this on just a 16 by 20 and do half. At one time and the other half at another time, okay? That's true. So, they will right. fit. Can they order either one? Or, they can. So, they can order the, the 16 by 20 or that's they can right. order the, that size. There's two different kit options on the website. All right. That's awesome. But please get your orders in now because we <clears> send them out. We can't guarantee that they're going to get there in time if you do it at a later date. Yeah, I mean, we ask you to give yourself, you know, give us at least a week because some some areas take at least a week to get to you. Yeah. So, you don't, you know, I mean, obviously the video will be available if you need it, but right. it's always nice to do it live with us. All right, I'm going to come down with that black. We're going to outline the outside of our lamp. All right, I'm going to go back to the zoom. Okay. Zoom in, I mean. Oh, look who's back. Who's back? Stephanie Seymour. Hi, Stephanie. It's hey, guys. Really so wanted to do this painting, but I work till 7.45 p.m. No and wouldn't problem. have enough time to get home and get settled to do the painting, so I'll have to watch your video afterwards. <laughs> no Sorry worries. I missed you. You're I miss fine. painting with you guys. Miss Everything's you too. been so busy. <laughs> that it has. So for this outline, I'm, I'm keeping it pretty thick here. It's not a tiny little thin outline. So you can use the width of that brush, use a little bit of pressure to kind of have a nice thick line for the outside of this lantern. Yeah, that looks good. It's zoomed in. They can see that good. It's taking shape now. Yep. Trust the process with me. That's right. Like I said before, <laughs> like I said earlier. Trust the process with me. 
Now, um, I don't, I mean, I know for a fact Jennifer's going to come up with something else, all right? I, I came up and I read up until December 19th, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we've got the Christmas holiday. That's, you know, be coming up real soon after that. And um, I don't have any more on the list of upcoming events. But um, I'm pretty sure Jennifer's going to come up with something else. Yep. <laughs> we have Ralphie that will be posted. Ralphie. Oh, that's right. Somebody somebody suggested that the other night. Ralphie, I will get in there. And I promised, I promised a dozen people at least over the past month that I will post another stitch. So oh. we will do stitch with a Santa hat. Okay. Okay. Or stitch holding a present with a Santa hat. <clears throat> really, Rascal? We tried to do Stitch in the Sand. We did it twice, actually. We did it on Zoom. Right. Zoom was my nemesis for quite a while. We tried to record it and tried to share it. <coughs> recording didn't work the first time. We thought we had it down the second time. The recording did not work the second time. So we will do Stitch again, but this time it will be a little bit different for you guys. Okay. <laughs> now, somebody suggested Flamingo, and uh, we got that on our list. It, it, you know what? I don't, sometimes I don't love what I do either. Flamingos, I did, and I did not like them, so we pushed them off to the side until another time. <laughs> okay. But we'll get back to it. Yes, we will. All right, so I want you to fill in this little bottom, little trapezoid area down here, also with black. Then yeah, Stephanie says, I'll just watch you guys for now. <laughs> I love you guys a lot, and I miss painting with you, and Aww. I miss Mark's voice too. Oh, <laughs> see? Man, talk about missing his voice. <laughs> when we first were together, it was during the hurricane, right? What hurricane was that? Sandy. Sandy. And we did not have contact for like over, it was like a week. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> it was terrible. Yeah, we had no power. Yep. I couldn't use a phone, couldn't watch TV. Yeah. I walked all the way up to uh a main area in the city that I lived in just to charge my phone. <laughs> Couldn't do it because the line was too long. Aww. I gave my phone to someone to take to their job to to uh, charge, charge my phone so that I could talk to her on the phone. <laughs> that was a terrible week. It was a terrible week. And then we'll do these little, the back. Um, again, actually, what I want you to do is mm, take a tiny bit of that black and take just a tiny bit of white. So we're gonna make a gray. We want it to be a little bit lighter. Right, so now Deanne Davis was asking Hi, about parrots. Oh, we have a parrot. We have There's a, a parrot. parrot up. Oh, is she it said, up would, yet? would Aiden like to paint a parrot? No, Aiden doesn't want Aiden to paint. Aiden doesn't want to paint anything. No. Aiden painted, however, that sunflower for his stepmom, though. That yeah, was really that nice. was nice. He hasn't painted for me, but it's all right. <laughs> The day will come. All right, so those little black lines in the back, I'm just making it with a gray. So we want those to be a little bit lighter back there. And I'm going to rinse and dry my brush to get it back to a, a point here. So I got a lot of paint built up on there. Okay. Back to that gray. Right, you're doing the, like the back. The inside, right. Yeah, the so inside this, this is going to be a little bit more faded than the front ones that are on the outside. Okay. Um, Catherine Cruz, one of our top fans, Hi, has a question. Yes. Hey, I have a question. I've been trying to do the Beetlejuice painting, but I've been busy. Okay. And I haven't had myself myself care, Aww. but tomorrow I'm able to get it done. Will it still be up? Uh, I'll leave it up tonight, and then we'll take it down We'll take it down um, on Saturday. I'll have right. Mark take it down on Saturday. Usually we take it down every Thursday night, but uh, one week they're up, but... I have so much to do, it's not on the top of my list. So you can get it done. <laughs> so you can get it done. We'll leave it up for you, We'll Catherine. leave it up for you. And she said that, slump, that sunflower was nice. He did great. He did do great. I was very proud of him for that. And I thought, I'll paint with you. I was painting sunflowers with him. I'm like, watch. Do you want me to show you? No, I got it. I don't need your help. Okay. That's your son. Okie dokie. <laughs> he's a good planner, and he's a good negotiator, just like Jennifer. Yeah, he is. <laughs> that he is. All right, am I going too fast? Are you guys okay? Uh, I don't think you're going too fast. All right, so I'm going to rinse and dry, and we're going to go ahead and outline our sign, our sign in the black. Okay. Outlining our sign. If anybody needs me to have her repeat, repeat anything, any of the steps, all yeah, you got to do is let me know. 
Yeah, let us know. Awesome. Just take your time and be as creative as you want to be. <laughs> there are no rules here. And, no. and yes, for those new people, we don't call this a class. It's not a class. <laughs> it's a session. Session. We're not training you. We're just encouraging you, inspiring you to reach inside and pull out your inner artist. And a lot of you who don't paint or not are not used to painting, you do this with us and then you go, wow, that was easy. I love when you guys are proud of yourself for what you did. That is the best part of doing this for me. Yeah. Best part of doing this for that's me. That's why we're trying. To, that's why we do this. Ah, yes. <laughs> Right. So we have almost everything filled in. So the next part of our sign is kind of those little scrolls and swirls. Okay? Yeah. So you can make whatever design you want. For your sign? Right. You can make whatever design you want. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to come in like maybe the center, above the center of my sign, mm -hmm. and start with one of those little circle scrolls that I got going here. And if you need to switch brushes to that tinier brush, mm -hmm. you can switch brushes to the tinier brush. That would be easier. I'm going to do it just because I want to try and keep it thinner, just a little thinner. Okay. Got to find it though. So I'm going to switch to my smaller brush for doing my scrolls here. And I can always go over it to make it thicker. Just can't make it thinner after you've got it on there, right? So. So once I kind of have a little scroll going in there, I'm going to bring this one down and come over here to this corner and scroll up and around that way. Now, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if this is Cindy or Connor, but I think it's Cindy. Oh. She's saying, I'm so tired. It's okay. I was wondering if you she would should. ever say that. I know. You, you should look so be. energetic. I never thought you got tired. <laughs> she is always full of energy. I was wondering when does she ever get tired? Now we now we know. Now we know. And then I'm gonna just kind of come off of this side of my scroll and I'll come down and do a scroll up this way. Now of course you can put whatever That's uh, right. It whatever could be design you want on your on your on absolutely. your sign. Yeah, uh, one of another one of our top fans, Laura Sullivan, said everybody loved the Nightmare Before Christmas. I'll tell you, I that was you guys. so crazy. I still, you know, I encourage you guys. I'm asking you for help. This is me asking for help. Jen doesn't do that often. <laughs> I'm asking you to go to the Nightmare Before Christmas. Go back to the past events. Go to that event mm -hmm. and look at where I say post those photos here. Yes. Just go through the comments, and if you see that somebody's hasn't had a comment or a like or a love, do it for me, please. <laughs> There's over five thousand yeah. photos on that comment thread. I mean, I got through probably the first two thousand, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I don't. Where, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna save them? I can't save two thousand photos. Yes, you can. I mean, I can't save six thousand photos to my phone. <laughs> Not and to then, your phone, no. Yeah, I mean, so that's normally what I do is I go in, I take everybody's pictures from that comment thread. Right. I save them, I crop them, and then I put them in a slideshow for you. Right. That would be a six-hour slideshow, so it's not yeah. going to work out. So and I want to make the gallery, and it's going to be like, how long is it going to take me to make the so, gallery? So, yeah, so I encourage you, and I'm asking you, to give everybody some love. Give each other some love. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, just go to our... Facebook page, go to the events, look for the Nightmare Before Christmas well, in such, the past events, yeah. and then you'll click the discussion and you'll see where they've sent in their photos and everything, and you'll see some <laughs> really great paintings. You guys did amazing. It was just such a phenomenal night. Um, it was. I was still, Mark, I think it was the first time I seen him just speechless, because he was back there like, uh, yeah. uh, 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 um, uh, there's, he's it's showing me numbers. 
<laughs> so he's like trying to give me numbers, and I'm like, okay. I was doing hand signals and everything. There's a lot of people over here. It doesn't oh matter. God. Listen, it doesn't matter to me whether there's 10 of you on with me or and whether there's 10,000 of you on with me. It doesn't matter. You get the same treatment. I love you all. Times, <laughs> and there was times when there was 10. And yeah, we give and we, the same we do the enthusiasm same. Enthusiasm and have the same amount of fun, whether it's 10 or whether it's 10,000. That's right. <laughs> but that night... It was amazing because the people just kept popping on, and it was up to 4,000, so over 4,000. So, so full. I mean, just imagine 4,000 people painting at the same time. Yeah. There was a person on there that night that says, I'm alone. And he said, no, no, you're, you're not. not. Alone. <laughs> you're not alone. Not by a long shot. Seriously. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to create a little design. I'm going to do three little scrolls this way. Now, Merle Park Hill is asking a question, saying, are you going to show how to put on a cardinal? Yes, I will. Oh, okay. I well, told you I told you guys I would do a little bit of, um, you know, on-demand painting for you. So, yes, I will get to it. Awesome. I'm probably going to go to the other one, which is dry completely. Okay. Um, but, yes, I promised. Oh. I will add a little bit of greenery for Christmassy, and I'll add a cardinal to it. Wow. Okay? See that, Merle? Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, sometimes we like to do that. We like to change it up a little. We we want to encourage you guys to not just follow what I'm doing. Step outside, right? Who said that? Step outside that box. Do something else. It doesn't have to be what I do. I love when you guys send me those photos. Last on Tuesday, we had not only snow families, we had snow puppies, we had snow cats. Oh it man, that's so great! Awesome. I yeah, mean, when we did I the love that. When we, yeah, when we did the snowman. Yeah. People were putting everything. They had their own family dogs in there and everything. It was <laughs> awesome. I'm going to come up here and do a little scroll on top of my lantern as well. Might be a little high now, but that's okay. Yeah, you reach into your creativity, and then you show it we to love us. We are always it. celebrating. Love, love, love seeing it. Okay, so this should be dry by now. Okay. So if you want to put your name in there, you can get your name in there. So that's how they're supposed to check if it's dry? Just no, put your fingers on there like not that? Not probably not. Because you know they can do that now. I mean, yeah. They saw you do it. They're going to be like, oh, okay, let me check. So oh, how do you know if your paint's dry? That's a great thing. Okay, how do you know if your paint's dry? <laughs> tilt your painting, tilt your canvas, look in the light. If it looks shiny, it's not dry. <laughs> yeah. It's usually a matte paint that you're using when you're using acrylic. Uh -huh. So if it's shiny, it's not dry. <laughs> All right. Good. That's good to know. Okay, just going to go with my teeny tiny brush. We're going to do another Kaufman's this time. And I will, I promise to remove the, the uh, apostrophe for those of you that commented. That's incorrect. I oh, know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I know. That's good. I know better than that. <laughs> I'm a writer. I should know better than that. Okay. Okay, we're going to do Kaufman's again because one will go to mom, one will go to Mimi. <laughs> okay, good. There you go. There you go. Want to go to mom? Want to go to me? That's great. <laughs> so what, here's a good tip, though, too. Is that gonna fit on there? Uh, I don't know now. <laughs> now you have, now you have to make it. So it's always great to either draw it in pencil first. Yeah. Or start from the center and work your way out. Okay. So start in your at your center letters. And work your way out, but now I may have to lightly you have to make it fit. Let's <laughs> make it fit now. Keep that in mind, everybody. How many times do you, does that happen, though? Like well, you start writing, and then you're like, "Oh God, I, I gotta fit enough. six little letters in that tiny little space." <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you know, if you got a long name, or you know, some people have those. Double names, you know, yeah. like I've like, seen a lot of those, like Susan Harblin Dandrow. <laughs> That's a long name. Yes. Yeah, you know, you have those names. You want to put that on your on your sign. You gotta make sure that you made it big enough, or you're gonna have to make the letters small enough to fit everything in there. Yeah, Susan asked about the flamingos. Ah, oh. okay, Susan. I will. I promise to work on them, but I'm gonna say. That no no apostrophe. See, it's like a it's like a habit. <laughs> no apostrophe. Right, Deanne says I just thought he might like to do it because he loves parrots. 
Yeah, but we did. You did a parrot. Yeah, we did a parrot. Yeah, we did a parrot. It, it. I mean, that painting is hanging in his bedroom. So yes, yeah. he loves the painting. Yeah. But he would not have the patience. It, maybe if I painted a vacuum, if then you paint the vacuum, he might paint he with me. He paint that. Yeah. Anything else? I. I don't even know if I could get him to paint a vacuum. To be honest. Yeah. It, everything, almost everything, is on Aiden's terms. Okay. Has to be in that mindset. Yeah, she got Deborah here. I can never seem to get my scrolls right. They're they're always not smooth. But I guess I'm getting practice. Maybe I'll get better. Yeah, you'll get yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, you definitely get better at it. So, um, what kind of tips can I give you? Um, I'd say. Well, I know you. Let me you, see if I remember what you say. Okay. You say that you um you put a little pressure on the tiny brush. As you make the start of your squirrel, of your your scroll, I was gonna say squirrel. <laughs> the start of your scroll, right? But as you get around making that little round thing, then you get as you get to the end of it, you release the pressure and it makes it thinner. So that's yes, definitely when you come to like those little fine lines at the end of it, yes. Um, but yeah, Mark's right. A little bit of paint at a time. Rinse and dry often. Get that built up paint off of your brush. Rinse and dry often. And if you have to, don't paint on your canvas first. Use your plate. Use a piece of paper. I know it's not always the same effect, but at least you can kind of work on your hand mo movements and, yeah, and kind of that, that motor that motor skill. <laughs> you know, we do OT here, so. <laughs> so, name, scrolls. That's all done. We have a, we have two or three more little steps left for the lantern, and then I'll show you some wintry add-ons, okay? Okay. All right, so the next thing I want to do is add some highlights on here. So I'm just going to rinse and dry that tiny little brush, and we're going to go to white. So a little brush, adding white. All right. So on the right side of each one of my scrolls, the right side of each one of the scrolls, I'm yeah. going to try to bring a little bit of white on either side, on the right side of the scroll. Okay, now, on the right side. Right. So the light is reflecting onto the right side of that. Uh-oh, we got a big thing with the apostrophes. Can you explain why isn't there an apostrophe? Because <laughs> apostrophes show possession, doesn't That's it? That's right, exactly. Oh, yeah, I was always a, I was always an A <laughs> student, valedictorian in my school, grammar school, yes. I do, you know, to be honest, I think it works either way because, okay, if, you, if you're if you putting that name on something, like it your house, possession. it's like the possession of your house, right? Yes, it's all the way you look at it. <laughs> exactly. So we, there's no right or wrong way, but English-wise, I know, it's not supposed to be an apostrophe. It's right. a force of habit. <laughs> right. Technically, no, no apostrophe, but this is about expression. You want an apostrophe on your name? You put that apostrophe there. <laughs> so as you're doing these, um, the little highlights on the right side of your scrolls, if you happen to pick up black on your brush, just rinse and dry. Rinse and dry, take that black off of there, grab some more white. Yeah, because the apostrophe shows possession. And the sign means that the house belongs to the I mean, So yeah, I mean, so technically, so that, in that case, you would think you need an apostrophe. Or you want to show that uh, there's, no more than one, there's more than just one Kaufman, <laughs> so then it's the Kaufman. That's right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, if you want to get technical. I'm going to, okay. go ahead. Go ahead. Um, Melissa Winiarski oh. says, what type of acrylic paint do you use? My black is always so thin and shows almost as a gray when I paint. Ah, so... For whatever reason, black, my black is always thinner than the other colors, too. I don't know what the reason for that is. But I just use a student acrylic or a regular, like a flow acrylic. Something that's, like, not super thick. It kind of goes on nicely. I mean, you'll see, like, there's different thicknesses. My white and my yellow are a little thicker than my blue and my black. Um, but it's all the same brand. It's all just, you know, standard Michaels Artist Loft paint. It's not... Not expensive stuff, guys. <laughs> we don't want you to like be spending tons of money. Let's, some people even use those little 
um, Apple Barrel or Craft Smart little bottles of paint. That stuff's really thin, and sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. But even that, when I used to get that to do other things, sometimes they would be really thick and sometimes they would be really thin. So mm. just all depends on the batch, I think, sometimes. Yeah, but see, don't worry, we are we are working on getting our own paint tubes, Nate. Yeah, we're working on that. Uh, it's, 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 com it's coming. Now, Lisa Velasquez says, would I put Velasquez with an S or just put Velasquez with an apostrophe S? Vel are we doing the Velasquez? I would say sis? put, <laughs> right, the, right. I would say apostrophe S. Okay, because you got the Z and the S. The S, don't, you can come after the Z like that. Yeah, it doesn't. It makes it harder to read or yeah, harder to understand. Yeah, I don't know understand. that you would even put the, an S on it, to right, be honest with you. Right, because it's Velasquez. But you can't have it the Velasquez. Okay, you want to say the Velasquez. Or you just remove you put the. It, or actually you would put ES on the end of that because of the Z. Velasquez is. Yes, because it's plural. You have more than one Velasquez in the house, so it will be Velasquez's. <laughs> but so just put the apostrophe S, because you're showing possession. Possession of, of the your sign, house. possession of, of the that. house. So it belongs to the Velasquez family. <laughs> All right. Or um, put the Velasquez family, but she oh, probably already Oh, that's made, a great idea. Oh, she already made the sign, so it might not a, be big enough for her. Put but that's family. smart. That's smart. Yeah. Avoid the apostrophe altogether. <laughs> <laughs> When in doubt, avoid it. Okay. Okay, so coming down again, all the right sides. If you want to come across the top of that sign a little bit with some white, I'm going to do the right side of each of these little scrolls down here. And then, what do we got next? We have right across the top of that horizontal pole. So up here. Yeah, see, Alisa. Barbara, wait, let me get it right. <laughs> Alyssa Barani Yates said, I added the knobs in the corners. I like that touch. You know what? I just realized that, that I don't have the little... Uh, the knobs in the, the corners. The little knobs in the corners. You're right. See that? You, It's like spot the difference. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> That's what we say. My painting's not going to look like my painting. My paintings never look like my painting. Never. I mean, we know that they're the <laughs> same painting, but I can paint the same thing a hundred times, and it comes out different every time I paint it. That's right. Okay. Next step. On the top of each one of these little, uh, almost like steps they look like, we're going to come across with a little bit of that white as well. It doesn't have to be a solid line. It can just be sort of a broken line ac across the top of each one of those little, uh, little well, steps. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Yeah, so now we have a debate going on in the, in the chat. <laughs> Who's an English well, it's teacher? Not a debate. It's not a debate. Isn't there it's just that everybody's, teachers doing, with everybody's doing all of the suggestions. Anybody, I was going to say, if there's no English teachers with us tonight, come on now. Joe Altener says, I forgot to put the S at the end of my name, so I just added the Altener family. There you go. That's it. <laughs> and then Kim Felsel says, Haha, I just said... I just said that Mark said, and someone asked. <laughs> <laughs> there is more than one, so no apostrophe. That makes sense. That's what I thought, yep. <laughs> yes, the Z is so confusing. <laughs> it is confusing. All right. So we also want to come and do kind of like that little fire or flame inside of here. So I'm going to... Stick with that. I have that white on here. I'm going to go back to that light yellow that we had. And we're going to grab some of that light yellow. And I'm going to make almost like a little fire in here. That's what's lighting up the lamp. That's what's lighting up the lamp. I mean, if you want to just do a little light bulb in there or whatever, you can. But I just sort of want to um, brush some of that yellow not all the way down, but across the bottom of that um, lamppost as well, the inside of that lamppost, sort of the reflection of that. <clears throat> and very good, very good. Let's see, and then I'm just gonna grab, oh wait, let me do my little knobs on the corner. Missed them over here. Uh-huh. No. 
No. Cindy says, I got paint in my hair. Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with a little color in the hair. Okay. <laughs> Coming from the girl who does rainbows now in her hair. Hello. <laughs> We're going to give it a break. We're going to give it a break. Now, after Beetlejuice hair, it's time for a break. <laughs> now, see, Jennifer Patty, Patton Whiting says, I wrote Merry Christmas, so I could give it to anyone. That's a great idea. That is a good idea. That's a great idea. Um, all right, last step for the lamp post itself. I'm, I am going to go back to that white with that tiny brush, rinse and dry. Yes. And come down the right side of that lamp post as well, the bottom side here. Just a little streak of white down the right side of that pole. Okay. And then, yes, those little knobs, I'll do the right side of those too. <laughs> And then this part of it is done. Okay. You can sign and date. So if you want to stick around with us here for uh, adding for some extras, I'm going to swap my paint, my paintings. And I'm gonna oh, okay. So I don't have to zoom out. No. You can, I'm just going to swap the original with okay. the new. Now you're going to do this for Merle. We're doing it for a bunch of people. Okay. All I'm right. going to add some things to the, uh, to the sign. Yeah. Now. So... I want to start with doing a, um, let's do maybe some garland on it. How's that sound? Oh, it was Connor who got paint in his hair. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so let's see. Let's make some green for some garland. I'm going to use that half inch flat brush, rinsed and dried. Half inch flat brush. Rinse and dry. And we'll make some green for some garland. So I'm going to take a big scoop of yellow and a little scoop of blue. Who had that teal color? That's almost sometimes what happens when you don't have the right ratio for green. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So just got some green. <clears throat> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Do we want a? Do we want a wreath? Do we want a wreath, or do we just want garland? All right. So do you see? This is what happens. We just have to figure it out and wing it. <laughs> well, you're going to put some, you could do some garland. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know where I want to start and come down from. But you're going to make a, 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 a cardinal for Merle, right? I will make a cardinal too. Yes, yeah. Nikki says, please try garland. Garland, okay. Yes. Thank you. That's what, see, I need direction sometimes too. That's right. <laughs> All right. I think, I, I, almost, I really almost want to put it across this. I really do. Really? And then I, and then I, I don't want to mess it up either, so. You're going to mess it up by putting garland on it? <laughs> All right, we're just going to go with it. All because right. you know why? Because you've got the windy, the windy curly cues that is making it look like this wind let, blowing. Let me do it first before you do it. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, let her do it first before you do it. You're going to do the stippling? I'm doing the stippling. I'm going to come down across this like this. Yeah, see, what she's doing right now, she calls it stippling. I'm going to zoom in. Okay. And then it would come down and around this way. Okay. And it's just tapping with the bristles of your brush. Yep. Oh, see that? That looks fine. You're going to make it go around in this? Yeah, see? You're wrapping it around your, your lamp. You got it. Great idea. I didn't know what you were going to do with that. Listen, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it either until somebody said garland. So, you know. Yeah, Nikki, Nikki Tamaka. <laughs> Thank Nikki you, Nikki. Said, Nikki said, um, yeah, just on the pole. Oh, okay. Well, then you can just skip this part of it. Right. And you could just do it on the pole. That was very clever. Um, okay. So I'm going to give that a second to dry. All and right. we're going to do, let's do a cardinal. Yes, a cardinal. Um, for I'm just doing my little, like, teardrop cardinal. I'm not doing, like, a super, you know. <laughs> Nikki uh, said, guess what? You're making Bob Ross sounds when you do the stippling. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's laughing. She almost spit up her water. Yes. That is Bob Ross sounds. Very good. Very good, Nikki. It's a happy little garland right there. Yep, a happy little garland. <laughs> All right, so since I didn't have red, I didn't start with red. I'm just going to grab a little bit of red for our cardinal. All right. So rinse and dry that with that. Uh, I'm going to use the medium round brush for this part. So medium round brush for my little cardinal. Maybe we'll do a couple here. Okay. Um, so my red is 
usually transparent. If I put it right to my canvas, it'll look like purple. Okay, oh. if you can see that, it looks yeah. like purple. So we have to give it a little bit of a dimension of color. So I usually take a scoop of my red and I take a scoop of yellow. Not enough to turn it orange, but enough that it kind of gives it a little depth of color. So just a little bit of yellow. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it depends. I mean, you just don't want it to get orangey. orangey. I mean, you can. Cardinals are orange too. So okay. Males or females, or I don't know what the difference is, but one of them is orange. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to do a teardrop shape. A teardrop shape, Meryl. Teardrop shape. Just like that. <laughs> I got it zoomed in so she could see it. Let's let's do a little cardinal on each one of these little swirls. Now, just to check, okay, you switch paintings. So that means that painting is dry. Yeah. So if Meryl wants to put her cardinal on there, then it should be dry, right? It's yeah, it might, it it should might be, blend. It should be close to being dry at that point. Okay. okay. But yes. Okay, so I have three little teardrops. I'm going to rinse and dry just to get some of that paint off of my brush. But then I want to grab more of that red. Okay. And let's give them some little tails. We'll just kind of come down here. So it starts off as a teardrop. Starts as a little teardrop. And now you're going to put little tails on and it. And then from the bottom of their uh, the teardrop, we'll just pull a couple little lines down for their tail. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, so you did three for each to make the tails. Okay, Connor says bye. I'm done. I'll see you bye, Saturday. Sweetie. I'll see you Saturday. Yay. Yeah, Nikki. Um, Nikki Tomaka, we're doing uh we're doing a Bob Ross tribute in January. January, yes. That we are. Alright, and then we'll make more Bob Ross sounds. <laughs> and maybe I'll leave, and maybe I'll even talk like Bob Ross. I'll work on that and see if I can <laughs> Make my voice. Oh so my like goodness. Bob. You guys crack me up. All right. Next step with our cardinals. We're going to rinse and dry. Rinse and dry. And then I'm going to have you just grab a little bit of yellow on that brush. Yeah. And we're going to get their bellies with the yellow. So it's just kind of the center of that bottom area. Maybe I have to zoom in a little bit more. Sure. So it's going to kind of turn a little bit of orange there, and that's okay. Yeah, I wanted to get real close so she can see. <laughs> Good. All right, I'm going to give those a minute to dry. I'm going to swap back over to my garland, okay? Yes. All right, so with that garland, I'm going to grab, going back to that, Flat brush. Is this the brush I use? I don't even remember. Nope, this one. Do the stippling? Stippling. We're going to use that half inch flat brush. Yeah, Nikki says, that is cool. I'm not ready for cardinals. <laughs> she it's said, okay. oh, and I am so coming to the Bob Ross tribute. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I'm working on, oh, I hate to give away all the fun stuff, but that's okay. No, no, no. You got to let them anticipate it by telling them about it. <laughs> So I'm working on trying to get a local theater to let me do it in the theater. Really? So we can project it on the screen and then have people painting that are local. Of course, this all depends on how things pan out, like pandemic-wise. Right, And right. then have people paint with me in the theater. Yeah, that's a live event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we might still be able to broadcast it live on Facebook. Yeah. Or oh, yeah, yeah. No, we would we still broadcast it. We would still, still broadcast. Okay, so... With that little brush on um, that half inch flat that we just did the green with, yes. I'm just going to go back with that with that lighter yellow that I had, yes, and just kind of grab some of that yellow in there and oh, step put over. Oh, put the green. Yep, we just okay. want to add some of that yellow in there. Oh, well, let me back up now because I was I was focused on the cardinal. Oh, sorry, right. sorry, I'm switching back and forth with different people. No, that's all right. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, it does give the garland some uh, added extra yep. texture. So I'm just grabbing that lighter yellow, just tapping that in again. 
Christine Barnhart says she can't wait to try this tomorrow. Oh yay. You won't try. You will do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try, just do. Yes. Who says that? Somebody said that recently. Don't try, just do. Yep. Okay. Green on our garland is done. You guys are just gonna keep hanging with me to keep painting, huh? So let's do it. Um I'm gonna switch back. I'm gonna go to that tiny, tiny brush that we had. Uh -huh. Rinse and dry. Get back to a point. I want to. Um, 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 or. All right, tiny, tiny brush with the black. I'm gonna go back to my cardinals for a moment. Yeah. Okay, tiny brush with the black. On top of each one of these little circles, um, up into the uh, teardrop shape. I'm going to do a little tiny heart on top of those circles. A little tiny heart? A little tiny heart. So sometimes if they're too small, if the birds are too small, yeah. what you can do is just drag some of that black down and almost make a V. Oh, make a V. That's their beaks. That's actually their eyes. Oh, that's their eyes. That's kind of where the eyes go. Okay, all right. Because they're so tiny. Yes. So a V. So it's kind of like a little V up there. Yep, you're going from one side and come to the other side, meet in the middle. Right. Right over the... Right uh, on top of that little circle. Okay. I'm going to come and do this one too. With the tiny brush. With the tiny brush. Okay, that looks right. Okay, I, I get it now. <laughs> Good job. Oh, Rosemary Alonzo says, where do we post a photo of our painting? As soon, give me a little while. As soon as we're done, I will post a reminder to please post your photos here. And then I'll post also the link for the tip jar for those of you that would like to contribute to our tip jar. Um, again, those people will go in for round two of giveaways tomorrow. And tonight, when we're done with this and everything gets posted, right. I'll come back online for anybody that pot, pot, pot. bought or purchased. Okay. Pot, that's pot. A kit <laughs> there you go. for this event, um, and we'll do a giveaway for that as and well. Deanne says, "Have you done a snowman before the one on Tuesday?" Yes. Yes. We did the snowman in July. We did do a snowman in July. She wanted to do Christmas in July. And it's on YouTube, right? Yep. I just it's posted it. Yes, I posted it yesterday or today on YouTube. Awesome. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of red that we used for our cardinals. A little bit of red on that tiny, tiny brush after I rinse and dry. And then I'm just going to add a couple of little red dots, like for berries, in oh, our garland. Back out. Sorry, got to keep switching. <laughs> okay. Right, Nikki says, I will hang as long as you do. Aw, I could do this all night long. I got to come back. Uh, <laughs> yes, I gotta, you can. <laughs> I got to, uh, what am I doing tonight? I have to do sample paintings. I have to do another gnome for a private group. Oh, yeah. See, Rascal says, that's it. I know. He's like, are you done? Are you done? Yeah. He says, you, you're going past the time period now. <laughs> um, sorry, everybody. If you're new, then you realize, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, Rascal is our rescue dog, and he's always at Jennifer's feet. But once it gets past, once it gets close to the two-hour mark, that's when he says, okay, that's it, Mommy. It's time. I need my time with you, <laughs> and um, you've been with these people all night, and I need you now. So now he's pacing around her on the floor, <laughs> and he's saying, you know, he's pretty much giving his objection, and he starts to whine, and he starts to say, look, okay, it's enough is enough. <laughs> okay, so I'm just doing some little berries on our garlands, add some color in there, and the last thing you need on your, I'm going to call them penguins, on your cardinals. Yeah. It's just two little white eyes, so I, I the black is probably still wet, so you may need a little dot, a little dot of white, and it may work and it may not, depending on how wet your black is. Yes. A little dot of white on that brush after you've rinsed and dried. On your little fine brush. <laughs> and then you need a little dot for each of the eyes and the white. Yeah. Just touch it real lightly. Yeah, my black is really wet still, so you may not be able to see it yet. Another of our top fans, Michelle Phillips Jensen, says Hi, thank Michelle. you so much. You're welcome. I look forward to finishing tomorrow. By the way, I have paint splatters all over my laptop keyboard. Oh, no. You need a painting keyboard, and then you need another keyboard. <laughs> and then if you want to add um, yellow for their beaks, so just grab a, 
well, actually it should be orange. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of red with a little bit of yellow. Oh, awesome. Merle says, thank you so much. You're welcome. Those are great cardinals. Thanks for showing me. I appreciate it. They look, uh, every time I do them, somebody inevitably says, it looks like angry birds. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> so for their beaks, I'm just, I just mixed a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, and then I'm just kind of doing just a little, little beak. A, oh, a little beak with tiny, the white? Ti actually, it's that orange color. Oh. So that's in like the bottom um, V area of that heart. Okay, what you made with the black. Yes. Now, Angela Provencio says, I didn't like my bottom swirls on my side, so I covered it with the card. There you go. That's how you do it. That's exactly how you do it. <laughs> awesome. It's never a mistake, only a happy accident, right? Oh, okay. Nikki says, my husband wants to use this for our, our, our craft booth. Oh. So I'm not going to post the pic as it has our business name on it. Oh. And I'm not trying to advertise on your page. But it turned out pretty good. Oh, uh, Nikki, yeah. you, can, you post can post it on it. our page. Absolutely. We want you to advertise so people can see your... See your you tell us what you got. That's right. Listen, that's we're no always, we are always... Um, so I do also help run a small marketing group. We, uh, we are kind of a business-to-business -business group, but on a smaller scale. So we support small business, not big business. Um, but we like partnering with other businesses. So I'll, some of you have reached out to us and said, hey, I want to donate a cup for a prize, or I want to donate. We had somebody donate a Young Living oil um, ornament for a prize. Right. If you want to partner with us and you would like to send a prize um, for a giveaway, then we will post that in our event. We'll share your business information. We don't mind. We love partnering with you guys. It helps us. It helps you, right? Yep. It's not a competition. We love to help out. No. You've seen, if you've been with us before, you saw the um, the Beauty and the Beast rose thing, that handmade rose. Um, right. That somebody was somebody, made that. somebody handmade that, and she's gotten some business from it. So I, I, that makes me happy that we can help other small businesses right we just we just warn you that um you know we don't know how we we don't know how big the audience is going to be that night and next thing you know you got exactly. a thousand people asking you for something <laughs> you said, I, don't, I can't possibly make them many we just ask that you bring it to us first because if you just start spamming our page with your business i will delete it <laughs> right yeah, yeah that's that's not right but yeah but but but, uh, but yeah. something like this no it's not a problem that's right okay that's right. jennifer leah says my fire looks too big is there a way to add something to the bottom to make it look more authentic? Your fire looks too The good. fire inside the inside well, the lamp. I think it's, uh, I mean, I don't see it, but I would think it doesn't really matter how big it is. If you just want to um, grab some white and sort of cover over what you did in the white to lighten it up and kind of get it to like a flat color in to the background again. Yeah. Yeah, then you could do that. Okay. Now, Kevin Burgess says, this is my first time joining. Hi, Kevin. No painting tonight, but you guys are now marked as favorites. I will be painting with you soon. Um, tell him what he needs to do. He Thank needs to like you. our page or whatever so he can get the notifications for the so, next time that we come on. Yes, so certainly um, on the Facebook page, if you like and follow or like or follow, I don't know which is. Mimosa's masterpieces. Uh, right, but um, then you'll get the notifications when we do go live. But any of our upcoming events, you can scroll through the Facebook event list, upcoming event list. Right. You can go to the website. The website, the events are not quite in chronological order. They're a little, it's the e-commerce side of things is not quite as nice and clean looking as the as Facebook, Facebook event page. list. Right. But there's a sign up and there's a paint kit for every event. Just and, so you know. Are you telling them about the sign up and the one dollar thing? Yes, and the sign up. Okay, so when you go to the event or the um, the website, you'll see two of the same paintings. One will say sign up. One will say paint kit. The sign up one will have a dollar on it. If you read a little bit lower under that, it says use promo code lamp for this to be free. So when right. you check out with that sign up, even if you do them together, if you want to buy the kit, you. Add them both to your cart, use the promo code LAMP, and it will take the dollar away so that you're not paying for it. Right, just so there's, there's no confusion. So all of the stuff that you need to know about the event is all answered in that document. You'll get an email. It'll say download. Click the download. It's just a Word document. Right. That Word document has your FAQs, where we're going to be, when we're going to be, how we're going to be. <laughs> it has your supply list, what you need. Um, and it has any sketches, if we have a sketch that you need to get to your canvas ahead of time. Right. I've had several people ask, say that they got a kit, 
and their kit was or their their canvas wasn't sketched. This girlfriend, I do not have time to do <laughs> to sketch out right like hundred canvases. Exactly. So that's why we need you to do your part of that, which is just to print that sketch and the instructions to sketch it onto your canvas is all in that document. Yeah, there was an issue earlier from some of our viewers about um, some sketches or a sketch that's coming up in one of our upcoming events. Hmm. Um, I'll look into it Looking later. Looking for, like it's missing? It said something, yeah, they said that there's a fifth, <coughs> a fifth sketch missing or something like that. There was another picture of a sketch that was missing. Um, I think the Grinch is what people think that they're missing. Okay. Um, I'll show you the Grinch and why they think that. So, uh, so the Grinch, there is, it's a two-piece, two-piece um, sketch. So right. it will print on two pages. You're right. going to tape it together, put it on the back of your canvas, hold up the canvas to light, and sketch through it. People think they're missing the legs. Okay. But there is, we're going to do the rest of this, the legs, right. in person. We're going to do it live. So you're not missing it. It's just not there. <laughs> okay. Just All so right. you know. Yeah, if people were looking for that part of it. Yeah, now Lisa Velasquez says, I Lisa. can't wait to show you my painting. Yeah. I made a small 3D wreath to glue <gasps> onto the lamppost. Yes, that's so cool. See, I love doing that. I love adding other things. That's why I love the lights. My little moose hat. He has a little Santa hat. <laughs> yeah. I know Rascal. I know. Oh, Rascal. See, Rascal's saying, hey, 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 man. <laughs> He's saying this is not Almost right. Done. Let's, go Let's go down for Rascal. See Rascal. I know. Rascal said, "Come on, Mommy. Come on." I know. I'm all right. Almost done. This is. I, I've been waiting all night. Let's go. You're fine. Uh, <laughs> Rascal. See, he didn't even listen to me. He look. See how you looking at her? <sighs> now you're looking at me, Rascal. <laughs> can you just let Mommy just chill? Oh, now you're gonna come over and counsel me. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, are we done? Are we done? Are you going to be all right? right look at him. Look. He's, he's over here by me now. He's like, come on, man, tell her to go. Come on, tell her to stop. <laughs> so the last step you need on your painting, whether you did a wreath or garland or not, is just sign and date it. Add those initials, add the date, and then I will post as soon as we're done. I will add that, post those photos here. Come on, mom. In this link. <laughs> and just add them as a comment for me. And everybody that's with us tonight. Hey, hey, no jumping. He said, every time to jump, okay? It's 10 o'clock, Mommy. It's 10 o'clock. So everybody that's with us tonight, please <laughs> give some love to each other. Um, if you see them, comment on them. That helps us. It's about you guys. It's not about us. So we want to see what you've done. We want to see your shares and your love for one another. I've if got it trained on Rascal right now. They're looking at Rascal. <laughs> if you share if you share to your page, please, we'd love for you to tag us, tag Mimosas and Masterpieces on your page. We want to see what your family and friends are saying to you after posting your photo. Yes. Please, please send us the photos. <laughs> okay, Sarah Love Joyce says, thank you so very Hi, much. As always, we had a much needed Aww, glass. Wasn't good. too happy at first with it. Had a gold yellow, so I blended more and love it much more. <laughs> Definitely a huge favorite. Uh, before Christmas. Thank yes. you, thank you. It was so good. Oh my gosh. We're almost done. We're almost done. Oh, Rascal says, I don't want to John. hear it. Come on, mommy. It's time. <laughs> oh it's getting gosh. late. It's past my bedtime. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Why don't you go sleep with Aiden? He said, I'm tired of Aiden. Go sleep with Aiden. I want my mommy. <laughs> You slept in my room last night, and you made lots of noise. Yes, he did. He didn't howl, though. No, he didn't howl. <laughs> that one night he howled. <laughs> All right, Rascal, we're almost done. All right, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. You don't want to hear it, okay? All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Well, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Uh, come back tomorrow for Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick tomorrow. We're doing Pickle Rick Pickle tomorrow. Rick tomorrow. Thank you so much That's for right. joining us tonight, everybody. Big night, Rascal. Please go over our events and be, make sure you get yourself situated before uh, Thanksgiving because we'll be here back for Thanksgiving as well. That's right. Thank we'll you, see guys. everybody it was later. A great night. Thank for you. Us. Love you guys. <laughs> later. All right, Rascal. All right, Rascal. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rascal. All right, Rascal. Calm down. Come on. Come on. Let's go. All right. All right. I'm
not right now, I'll fight with you, but I'll let you out. Come on.